Hey guys, welcome back to Passing Money Plan. Today we're going to be talking about crypto. It's a big one for people. I hear everybody talk about it. My dad talks about it. So it's a it's a funny one out there. And we're going to be talking about if it fits in our portfolio. For me, no. But I'm going to hand it to you, Kirby, because I know you got more insight on this topic. Yeah, um, I Do I think crypto fits in anybody's portfolio? I do. I do. Unlike Alex, I do believe it fits in there, but I don't believe it fits in there like you hear a lot on social media. I mean, I believe one to five percent of your net worth goes into cryptocurrency. That's it. I'm not saying YOLO and go put your life savings into crypto. And um, before I get into the why, let's just break it down for a second. Alex, just give me a minute here and bear with me a little bit. Um so cryptocurrency, I, I look at it just like gold. It doesn't produce anything. And what I mean by it doesn't produce anything, it doesn't produce dividend, it doesn't produce cash flow, uh, it doesn't produce revenue. Um, crypto, just like gold, is you're paying, the value of it is just based on what somebody else is willing to pay for it. You know, you can't really deep dive into it like um like a company, you know, looking at their balance sheet, looking at the revenue they generate, looking at their operational margins or what have you. Um, but just like with gold and cryptocurrency, um, it's a spot in there because people will value at a higher rate, especially because if we talk about Bitcoin and Ethereum, that's my two main focuses, not all this extra, uh, you know, random coins that's out there. Um, it's only a finite amount of them. So supply, demand, scarcity, and things of that nature will drive demand to make it higher. So I do believe it has, you know, a spot in there. Um, when it comes to cryptocurrency as a whole, I do believe you should understand what the cryptocurrency is. You shouldn't just jump in blindly because, you know, somebody said, hey, yeah, you just need this in your portfolio. Uh, me, I do have it in mine. Um, but it's a very small percentage. I'm not even at 1% of my net worth in cryptocurrency, but I do drip or dollar cost average in there on a weekly, monthly basis, but it's nowhere near something that if it went to zero, it would, I'd be crying bloody murder and trying to file bankruptcy over. But Alex, what you got just off your knowledge of cryptocurrency as a whole? Yeah, exactly. That's, that's my view on it too. It's not that it's like i'm anti crypto i just look at it the same way you look at it but because it doesn't provide that return it's not something that i personally include in my portfolio at the moment because i don't think i have that leisure spending to just be able to invest in something that just maybe holds or grows in value like gold or silver i think right now my focus is to invest in assets that provide an income that can help me grow to that next level that next uh, net worth goal or whatever and then from there if i'm trying to deploy a small percentage of capital into something that will just reserve its value then i can see that being a decent fit for the portfolio or gold silver things like that but i look at it the same way it's not providing an income and not to focus too much money on it. And I know a lot of people, they jump into investing and that's the first thing they hit is crypto. And if you're going to go 80 to 100% crypto, that's like extremely risky for someone that knows, especially for someone that knows nothing about crypto. All right. Uh, I agree with you. Um, and I'm glad you brought up the point of uh, income, providing the income and things like that. So what, uh, what I do is, yes, I do have the Bitcoin. Yes, I do have the Ethereum. But when it comes to, I try to hack the system. I truly try to hack the system, meaning I'm just like you. I, I want to have an income source coming from somewhere. I want to have a revenue source come from somewhere. So what I do is I invest in the crypto miners. You know, you got Riot and Mara. I invest in those just to provide an income from the crypto space. So I will invest in a crypto miner and then I will sell call options on it just to give me that weekly, monthly uh, drip, that dividend, 
to, you know, make it worth my while. Because the only thing I care about is cash flow. You know, I don't spend my net worth. You know, net worth only is only good when you're buying commercial properties or you just want to uh, sit there in a the good old boys club and brag about your net worth. You know, me, I care about the cash flow. So so what I do to buddy the cryptocurrency investing, I grab the crypto miners because they're stocks and then I can, you know, sell call options on top of it to give me that, you know, weekly, monthly and quarterly dividends from that avenue of it. So when I say I'm not one you know, hit that 1%, 5% mark in my net worth, I even combined with the stocks and the, with the crypto miners and the Bitcoin, I still haven't hit that mark yet. But my goal is to get up to that one to 5% of net worth mark. But again, mostly hanging on to those miners and just using that as a revenue generator by selling call options to get that, that weekly, monthly and quarterly drip, just selling call options and getting that revenue coming in and using that as an offset. And but with that, it's the same inverse with, you know, gold and silver. You can, you know, buy the uh, gold and silver miners and then do the same avenue with that. So, I, you know, I combine that strategy together. But like I said, it's a small, a small inkling of my portfolio. So it's not nothing that, hey, if it all goes to trash, it all goes to hell, then I'm sitting here. You know, talking about setting up a GoFundMe account because Kirby broke because he wanted to gamble on crypto market and he didn't have any other assets to hold him over. Yeah, and I know that there's the option of, I think it's like, I, for, I forgot if it's locking your crypto. I don't know what the terms are, so I don't want to sound mm -hmm. like an idiot here, guys. But it's something where basically your crypto can gain staking. interest. Staking. Staking. Yeah, yeah staking. there you go. Yeah. And you can stake your crypto and gain interest. I know that's an option and maybe that's a better option for most. I think the other thing that I don't like personally about crypto is the the fact that it to me, like it's like buying gold, putting it in a chest that you can never open unless you have your key. So it's like right. if anything happened and you lose your seed phrase then i just think that's such a risk to to have your assets locked that secured away into something that is unaccessible to even you in a worst case scenario so you know having rental properties you don't have to worry about your rental property like growing legs and running away from you or your stock you know your brokerage account if you can't get into your account you can get access by calling customer service so there's just there's things like that where I look at too like I don't want my assets to feel like or I don't want to feel like my assets are even hidden away from me or protected from me in situations like that. Yeah, and that makes sense because I mean, and that's again another reason why I mean I've seen it and actually I I have lost uh, seed codes and have <laughs> lost cryptocurrency. So, um, but that's why I don't go you know something you know crazy dangerous where it's it's going to be a detriment to my life or to my family's life to do it. I mean, do I believe that cryptocurrency will continue to be an asset that will grow? Yes. And the only reason why I'm saying yes is because anything that the government fights against and then they adopt it, that means the government already knew it was an asset to begin with. And then you see this week they come out with, uh, now they, they're okaying the, uh, bitcoin etfs and things of that nature and then they try to deter people left and right saying oh it's not a good investment oh don't put your money in there but now you're okay in uh investment platforms and investment vehicles for the said commodity i'm glad that the price is actually coming down and giving me the opportunity to buy more but that's that's just why i look at it i mean i just want to have my foot in the game i ain't trying to i'm not going uh balls to the walls going all out risking my life on this currency i'm just going to stick to the things that's trying to stocks real estate businesses buying those uh keep continuously uh, generating cash flow and that's you know that's my main goal with it but i do want I, I do want some skin in the game just in case it do something parabolic and then i got some skin in the game and i can benefit from it but i'm not banking the house on cryptocurrency running up to a million dollars a coin or bitcoin running up to a million dollars a coin and then i'm off skinny dipping somewhere in fiji that, that ain't that ain't 
that wasn't the goal of my entire about it. I want to get, I want to get rich for sure. I don't want to get rich quick. So I'm just going to stick with the for sure methods that's tried and true over the past hundred years. I'm not going to bank on something that just came out uh, maybe 10, 15 years ago. And that's just my view on it. But I do have skin in the game. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. But with all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, uh, share this video. Let us know in the comments section down below what you do with crypto. Subscribe and we will see you guys on the next one.